hi this is witch nikki oh, i'm going on my bike ride so i'm just going to put you right here in the basket nice and snug <coughs> Kind of overcast today a little bit of sun peeping through but it's nice it's a nice day for a little ride all right we go. Okay. My nose is itchy. Let's see now. I don't know which way to go today. I wish I could ride out of the neighborhood. I hate to try the park. I really do. Well, let's just see where we go and what happens. I'm gonna put up the, uh, you know, thing. Kickstand. <laughs> you can see me. I always say that. Huh? Good. Every time that I get um, my bike a little bit, and then uh, for whatever reason I have other things to do off the bike, and then it's like a couple days go by, I really miss it. Get back on it again. It's like, yeah, I'm with my, I'm with my friend. I'm not liking the way that this is viewing. Because you're sunken down so low, but at the same time, I just don't want it going out of, flipping out of the, uh, the basket. That's not going to help really, is it? Gonna, it's not secure. The last time I pulled around with this, it kind of went bye-bye. So, well, I'm pretty sure you could see me. <clears throat> oh yeah, there. There's a little bit better if I kind of lean forward too. I wish you could see. Like I say all the time, I wish you could see where we're going. Instead of just looking at me the whole way. <laughs> oh well. Let's, I'm gonna drive by the park from across the street. I wanna see what kind of stuff's going on over there today. I don't like all the people going over there and saying this is our park and they go sit and smoke and smoke pot and drink and do all the things you're not supposed to be doing in a park. No, I'm not going to get all on it either. Uh, it's a dog walker with a couple of dogs. They're, if they're, they keep them on leash, then I'm fine with that. I don't like dogs getting in my way of my path. 
because I don't want to hit them and I don't want to fall down. <coughs> Well, at least you're with me and you're on for about a half an hour. We're drifting over there. We could drive through and see. If it's not too good, then we'll leave. Deserves to have a break every now and then. All right, here is the area where we come across. Have to wait. Here we go. I appreciate all your work. Graffiti hotline people. I'm always calling them up. Telling them there's graffiti over here. It's the people that put out that graffiti that don't know. I don't trust because that's an invitation for drug buying and selling gang affiliated um, graffiti that is some people let's see now okay pretty empty pretty nice I like it feels good so far I might stop and collect little sticks or twigs or something. If I see anything. They're trying to keep this park up nice. Because I guess. <laughs> Ooh, hang on. They got tired of me um, pulling up. <laughs> they decided to get busy out here. What I saw is a stick. <laughs> and I know it's weird, but I'm collecting sticks for an art projects. So if any of you have seen my art projects that include sticks. This is a nice one too. Pine. Oh. It smells like pine. I don't want to lose contact with you, but I... Whoop, oh, gosh. Still going. Thank goodness. Here's the park. Then we go that way. Over there where that building is. Around. And right here. <laughs> I can hardly wait to see what that's going to look like. Once again, see where the bleachers are around that building. Um, there's kind of a white strip, but that's not it. Beyond that, way over there, those trees where those trucks are, where the little playground is, 
all along the fence area back around here okay are you with me on that I wish I could share with you what I'm gonna do now I gotta try to secure this stick so it doesn't get away from me it's a good stick You should check out my um, my artwork that I'm doing on Instagram. Sorry to be talking to you when I'm not fully here and there. Oh, I hope I don't lose this. Please don't let me lose my stick. It's kind of loose. I also have a bag that you're sitting on top right there. It's a cloth bag that I use for collecting whatever. Hang on a second. Sorry to drink. Good sip of water. All right, guys. Let's do this. Ugh. Stand. Lift off. <laughs> All right. Doing pretty good. Ten minutes into the video, and I found a stick, and we're in the park. I have not been over here for a couple of years because I got tired of riding around, stopping to call the city. Stop to call the city. Stop to call the city. <laughs> I was stopping more than I was riding. So it got to be quite less productive on my um, on my part. You know, there's some kind of noise going on. It could be more graffiti removal. some stuff. I guess I can put some things in it. Power hosing. Hi. Oh. Sorry for the noise. So it could be also uh, pesticides and um, what do you call it? antibacterial stuff or something to really uh, purify those areas over there, the bathroom and such. It's another stick, but I want to ride around this track a little bit before I pick up more sticks because I could be doing that. Then I'm just <laughs> riding and picking up sticks and picking up sticks and riding. Some new logos on their trucks. It looks nice, but it's still the city, Norwalk. It looks a little bit different. Nice. Here we go in this little roundabout. Look like they're fixing it up around here. That's good, good. Keep them busy, keep them on their toes. That's what we're paying them for. Goodness sakes. Whew. Because, you know, springtime's coming. People are going to be getting out to the park more. They need to keep them clean. A lot of people ride bikes through here that deal drugs. But the big difference about that is what do I have on my head? A helmet. 
and drug addicts don't <clears throat> don't um, use helmets because their brains are already fried on the drugs, so they don't care what happens to them. They're at a lower level of uh, awareness of their body and spirit that's going on. They don't care. I'm not being judgmental. That's an observation and a fact that people who are healthy mentally and physically, at least trying, like me, you're going to see a helmet on their head if they're riding around a park or in the street, anywhere, doesn't matter. I mean, I've had pine cones fall on me from the trees and it hurts. They didn't knock me out, but it hurts. So, yeah, today there's no baseball practicers in the, the diamonds out there baseball diamonds and um that's good <clears throat> but uh that too that could be a problem uh, i like to ride here when there is nobody here there's a few cars out there i don't see the people some of them are some of them are from um the school park over here. There was another stick and it was a good one. And long, but I can always get it cut, cut down a little bit. Ta-da! Looks like a bicycle handle, huh? Why don't I talk a little bit more about my project? Then you'll know why I'm picking up sticks. <clears throat> okay, well, if you could take a look on Instagram, then that's where you're going to see pictures of my recent um, wall hangings that I have woven. It's called Memories Woven. Is the first pro project that I did, and um, I had fun doing it. I did it through a little bit of a stressful time, but. It helped me out, helped me get back grounded, you know, um, inspired, kept up my creativity and just worked right through that. Um, what it is, is if you picture like a wooden frame and Um, 
along the tops and the bottom the stick has grooves in it okay and the grooves are so you could do what's called warping and it's not really quite as warpy as it sounds it's um you take a the yarn that you're going to use tie it to the top and bring it down up and down up and down through the little grooves okay all the way across and then you use a long needle to uh, that's not sharp it's plastic some of them are made out of wood though and you thread the color that you want and you weave it in and out in and out in and out of that um, down near the bottom I later learned that you should put some kind of um, like a ruler or something down along the bottom to give it about this much of a strip so you can have um, the ends to tie so doing mine was learning by mistake now I'm going to go out here just a little ways and I'll be out on the main street go down just a little ways to the next gate and come back in I used to be able to do this whole park back to doing that but after you've been out of your schedule of exercise you should not just jump right back into where you were you're gonna have to go back uh, to where you did when you started so the first time that I went out to the park, I did one lap and it took me about, whew, about five minutes. But gradually and quickly, I was able to go the next day two, the next day three, the next day four. And then I was even going more because then I was going a half an hour. See, I, I would add a little bit of uh, minutes and a little bit of the laps. So I see now I'm back inside the park, which you can't see. But maybe I could. Since I'm in the park and there's nobody except the working people around here. So, I'm getting a lot of noise. Anyways, the weaving. You weave back and forth and then I weaved some other materials besides yarn in there and then I weave sticks in there. Hi. Finally, it became a wall hanging. So I hung up. Okay. So, carefully. Should not attempt to do this. There we go. I'm just going to prop, prop you up here, and whatever you guys see is what you see. Um, holding on to you and you're on the handlebars now. See? So, I'm sitting on the handlebars. But I want to reach forward because then I won't be able to reach the bar there. So, this is pretty sturdy. 
just so you can see what what's going on around me. I know it seems like I'm going slow. That's okay. I'm talking about a couple things here. I'm talking about my wall hanging. I'm going to do a video for that. How about that? I'll do a video and show you what I have done. And a new one that I've started out. That's a little bit uh, smaller. It's, it's long, the same length but not as wide, about half or so. Whee! There's a flat there. People might look at me funny now, but you know what? I kind of like this idea. If anything is happening, boom. They're going to be on the camera. Boom. Okay, nothing going on here, but I'm just telling you. I feel pretty good. Today <clears throat> is International Women's Day. And I don't know all the figures and stuff, but there are still women around the world, even in this country, that are suppressed by men. And... This is just something that's going to have to stop. Two men today in my life, both I consider very close friends. One is my age and one is in the 70s. And they both wished me a happy International Women's Day. Look at the birds. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Look at them all there. Okay. And so, I know there, there was at least two and more men out there. There's other ones too um, that have respect for women. So I know that it's something that can be done. I think it's up to a lot of our resources and our family structure to do that. To teach our children, boys and girls, that they should have respect for each other. Because what happens when you don't have respect for someone? What happens to that person? they lose respect for you. It's a back and forth type of a thing. If you do not respect me, I'll, I'll be kind, but I'm not going to trust you as a person that's respecting me. I'm not going to trust you. Probably not going to hang out with you, definitely, if you're disrespecting me. That's it. You know, and I am a respectful person, I think. I respect uh, people's privacy, space, um, that they're human beings. I'm gonna go, oh, yeah, yeah. I went, I went on the grass. Still going. Almost time to stop. I think. How long has this been going? Carefully. Yeah, twenty nine and thirty seven seconds so I'm gonna finish up with this because I don't want to just cut out and then I won't have given an outro so for the outro thank you for being with me I'm gonna go out this way then I'm gonna go where you see that truck going with the 
orange stripe on it that way and head back out around on the outside of the park. Look at the tree right there with um, lemons. We've had some insect insect insects on citrus trees, so they've been going around spraying people's grounds. Um, anyways, whether they want it or not, but that's to help protect all the plants, because if you get you know a big um, bunch of those a lot of crops are going to be rotten and dying and stuff like that it's no it's no good and a lot of yards have um, oranges and lemons and other kind of citrus fruits I just have avocado well it's 30 minutes I should be home in about 10 so I'll talk to you next time and be looking for the um, my art project is called Memories Woven and I'll be doing a video about that next time.